do you want to play 116 mana worth of stuff in a single turn? Well, then this deck might be for you, because if I did my math right, that's possible with this deck. And it's in large part thanks to the Galactic Projection Orb, because you spend, of course, 10 mana on this, and it replays a ton of spells, including 10 mana spells like Sunset Volley. And when you combine that with DJ Mana Storm, making all of these 10 mana spells cost zero and then one and then two, and if you copy your projection orbs with audio splitter, then basically the sky is the limit when it comes to mana expenditure possible. And sometimes your opponent's health total is the limit because you'll kill them with various sunset volley pings. And you know, sometimes 40 or 50 mana worth of stuff is more than enough to win and sometimes you don't even need that because you got yourself a really cool excavate control deck here to kind of back things up with a lot of different ways to gain life and stall out the opponent and remove all kinds of opposing boards which can win games all on its own so i had a ton of fun finally using dj mana storm in a pretty cool way with this deck and i think you're going to enjoy watching this as well warrior i don't really know what to expect it's well i don't really know what anybody what to expect it's all new stuff i, I don't know hey is my deck tracker working i took a little gap to do some marvel snap stuff uh um yeah we don't coin cosmic keyboard we save coin we got a galactic projection orb to get through here hopefully a zero man i wanted that keyboard <coughs> audio splitter dude we can get three projection orbs in hand um i honestly we might do it too if the opponent's more of a control deck and less of an odin deck we'd actually have time for that uh you do worry about odin though of course presenting a bit more of a lethal threat um audio processing yeah I do need a Sunset Volley to make the Galactic Projection Orb feel especially good. You know, right now it's like pretty much all reactive cards. We can sometimes get a Fireball weaved in there and stuff, but for it to feel super, super strong, I think we need some help on it. Excavating can also be cool. Coins, oh my God. Dude, get me a Sunset Volley. We have three coins in hand, so uh turn seven we can play this they don't they don't loop i don't think I actually don't know but i don't think they loop sanitize sure that's fine all the orbs flame strike in hand yeah this needs to happen it doesn't do much but it needs to happen we play the coins now yeah, next turn's probably just Researcher, but a uh, little bit better board this way. Not that that usually matters much. Mostly just worried about Odin, though. Spooked by Odin. So star power here is pretty nice. Always clears. Artificer star power or save the Artificer for later. Five armor's not much against an Odin, to be honest. We have another one, but who knows how far away it is. Um, I think we wait. We could actually even do a cool thing. I don't know if this would be worth it or not, but it could be a cool thing where you... On turn eight, go for like an orb <coughs> artificer where you like coin, coin, coin. Uh, orb. I really would like to see that sunset volley first. And a mana storm, of course, could be absolutely nuts if we hit it i mean my god please give me the mana storm that's all we really want is mana storm and a volley i need both i need both wonder if there's a way to build this list to find more of this stuff more consistently i can't pretend that i expected my list to be like perfect or whatever um yeah let's go ahead and frostbolt this I think it has some upside. I'm still, of course, a little worried about an Odin coming down here on eight. Seems kind of nasty. Wish we had objection. This would be the perfect time. Where did objection go? Flame Strike can clear. If not, though, like if they do play Odin, just Flame Strike trade. This, this, I, I think this. 
It, it requires after this uses an ability, right? So he shouldn't actually be able to attack here because he can't use an ability if you're frozen. <coughs> so he should be a sitting duck. Just a Gargon, that's not too bad. Armor gain, I mean, you know, theoretically it stops our like sunset volley plan. Um, if they're not an Odin deck, we could just, you know, outpace them, out overwhelm them, but I, I think they're probably just an Odin deck, to be honest. That's the issue here. I need, I need some card draw, man. I don't have anything right now. I have a little bit of armor gain and that is it. I, I, I need, like, I got three of these, but there's no good spells. It's flame strike. It's star power. So, you know, we have some removal, but nothing that like generates value. Uh, what we, we have cryo preservation, which can kind of maybe sometimes generate value, but we also had frost bolt. So there's, you know, as much good as there is, there's some downside too. I mean, not that Frostbolt's bad necessarily. Okay, so they do have an Odin, unfortunately. This is where the pressure kicks up a little too hard, I think. So, Orb... I mean, it's a lot of armor. It's a little bit of value sometimes. Bro, we could almost Cosmic Keyboard too, but I don't think we can wait. Uh... This should never hurt our board, right? I mean, I guess we attack first and anyway, it doesn't matter, but it should be fine. And this should always get cleared, of course, because uh, we got star power alone. Frostbolt face would be way better. Nice. Very good. Flame strike wasted. Do these always cast in order, by the way? It seems like it, huh? Which is definitely relevant. It would be really nice to have another frost bolt, but I think I think we got to save that for later. So if these artificers survive, dude, another 20 armor gain would be so sick. Oh, no, they had they just had to kill those, right? There's no choice. Barrier's going to put me at 35 armor, though, which is 65 health, which I mean, Odin can definitely get through, right? But it does it does take them some work, I think, for it. Yeah, we'll freeze their face. Um, only getting a three cost treasure, that's five, seven here. I think that's still better than an orb at the moment though, because face freezes number one are really good and I just need better plays. Oh, this is a fantastic card to get because suddenly I get some value. So I'm discovering one to, uh, to summon. Yes, we take the big guy. Then we get the other ones in hand, yeah. Uh, this will work next turn too, so let's just do this for now. This is actually a monster board. Arcane mage spells to hand? Yeah, oh, actually freeze the target though, it's really nice. Hopefully this gets me enough value to keep things moving because a freeze is just really valuable against an Odin warrior. Right, if nothing else, we can just play orb and get a 10-10 maybe next turn. Because we still have two more orbs incoming, so it's not like... Or excuse me, one more orb incoming, so it's not like we don't have anything. <laughs> you know, there's still some upside, some value there. Um, so we'll start with Shale Spider. Rolls pretty good, yeah. Garrosh's gift doing work. These gift cards are strong, man. Did they win? Oh no, we won. Okay. Nice. <coughs> they're still gaining a lot of armor, even though they're not killing me, which is kind of a pain. Oh my god, we got Frostbolt again here. I love it so much. <laughs> DJ Mana Storm. So we really, really, really... Man, maybe I take Arcane Intellect to try to find the volley, right? Because I don't want this game to go too much longer, and volley is a ton of damage of these. Yeah, it sucks because... You know, I'm giving up some freeze, but this, I just have to find this. I just have to. Volume up? That's fine. Sunset volley, yeah, nice. Double sunset, oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. Okay, I don't even care about burning your card now, do I? Oh my god, dude, I have three sunset volleys and two projection orbs and I already played a projection orb. So next turn I can actually go mana storm volley coin volley. 
I want. <laughs> I guess I could also... I mean, I'm at 60, uh, 57 life, but effectively 65. <coughs> so I feel like I can take my time a little bit and just go absolutely nuts here. Um, I mean, two volleys is almost lethal is the crazy part. Oh, coin costs one. I can't do both right now. I forgot coin is also getting increased, but that's okay. We, like we said, we're really just about to go crazy next turn. Um, next turn we can go volley, volley, orb or something? I don't even know. Volley number one is one mana. Then two for the second volley is three mana. Then orb is three mana is six. So yeah, we could actually play all four of these next turn. Is that right? I almost hope the opponent gains like 40 life here just so that I can have some fun doing crazy stuff with my volleys. Like otherwise they're gonna die too fast. Please just get... <coughs> please, you're, you're an Odin warrior. Gain like 30 life, bro, please. I wanna have maximum fun. I wanna do crazy things, please. Four is not enough. You need to gain so much more. Oh, they are not good at gaining life, dude. They're just going to die too easily. I mean, there is a decent sized board here, but I'm assuming they're trading in most of it. Um, yeah. I mean, do I ever sandbag a little bit for fun? How much life do they have? 22 plus 8 is 30. Okay, so they're actually going to survive the volleys okay so that actually does make this fun because let me get a projection orb to finish this turn is completely nuts sunset volley number two sunset volley number three for lethal <laughs> not to mention a frost bolt too i guess this has got to be so frustrating for this opponent just constantly frozen and then melted with 45 uh <laughs> crazy spells all at once i forgot we're getting uh bonus elementals we're getting an azurite hawk we're clearing any board and volley number three for lethal the 30 damage turn with craziness in between i'm i'm i need i need a mana storm game i'm gonna keep him i i just need a mana storm game uh he, he's not I, I, I certainly expected he's not proven particularly valuable to the deck neither has galactic projection orb this is a whiz bang zaris game these can be scary early because they just like always hit their curve and that's kind of spooky but in my experience this deck does fall off quite a bit late limited experience i think i played it twice in theory crafting so you know if they if they don't kill you early you're usually okay which i think with cosmic keyboard will will be okay we'll recover this rather nicely and frankly, even sometimes early, they can have a hard time, too. Yeah, that's not particularly scary, thank God. It's good for later, but for now. All okay. Keyboard into barrier, probably, just to get a 3-3. And, you know, sometimes it's a little harder to get that, that barrier to connect later on in a game. Hmm. Spell? Secret? It's very unlikely to be counterspell, and a coin here is fairly detrimental to me. I think we just rip Ice Barrier. We just hope it's not a counterspell. Uh... Oh, that was a weird animation. That took a while. It looked like my secret was like fully equipped for a minute, man. So now coin star power might be more relevant. Just get a 5-5 five, five and uh, go for it. Certainly a volume up off the top would be a welcome sight. We got Mana Storm and a Projection Orb. It would be cool to get a volley in. A couple volleys in even before then i mean this is solid star power it's not my favorite but i do like five fives could save coin for millhouse you know there's some logic there too don't don't uh don't doubt there's some logic to that but for now we just want to get ahead on board like we said i think we'll be more okay late because what happens is early like you know they get guaranteed on curve plays often because if you have one mana, you're, all your cards are one mana. If you have two mana, all of your cards are, you know, either one or two, which means a lot of them are going to be two, basically. And they can be zero, Regis. Yes, I know. You know what I mean. 
So as you increase in mana, there's less and less likelihood that the, the card fills the mana naturally, which means you have to piece together multiple cards. Sometimes the quality feels lower because of that. You know, playing two, three drops on turn six is perhaps not always the strongest thing to do. Or having like some random ones and stuff and just random neutral cards. When you have five one drops to choose from on turn one, you often get some pretty good results, right? But when you have uh, one five drop on turn five, suddenly your plays get a lot weaker sometimes. Yeah, this is sadly not the strongest turn. Okay, we like card draw though. Card draw is very good. I would have loved the volume up earlier. To attack, bro. I think we can clean this up with AoE usually, so I'm not feeling too stressed by it. Um, so keyboard into volume up is actually really insane next turn, as long as we're not too far behind on board for a star power. But I think, you know, since we're ahead right now, <coughs> by quite a bit, that's unlikely to happen. I think the opponent's likely to just play some stuff here, more or less, and we'll be able to kind of trade in cleanly and just do our thing. Maybe not even trade in, but we are definitely a deck that prefers to trade as a control deck with a big end game. Yeah, this is definitely the move. Okay, we got a volley. That's really good. Do we take more volleys? That's kind of greedy, right? <laughs> uh, I think I think we don't. I think cryo preservation is fine. And I, again, I think we trade. We are the uh, we are the defender here, hopefully. So flame strike in the mix would be good for the orb. Uh, if it feels worthwhile at all. Oh my God, they got a hearth hand. Now that's much scarier. And I don't know these hands. <coughs> I didn't play much when this came out. Actually, I don't think I played at all when this came out. I've never played this card anyway. I think I have had it played against me some though. So I must've played a little. Um, so I don't know, I don't know the hands. I'm gonna have to go look up the hands, see what they have. They're surveying it themselves. Like, what is this? What do I have here? What is this? What is this garbage? This isn't what I wanted at all. Yeah, cryo preservations here seem solid. I don't I don't hate miner either. Miner's not bad. Doesn't give me a lot to go with though, and my hand size becomes an issue too. I mean I guess the cryo preservations don't necessarily help hand size, but I just like advancing the treasures here too. There's something cool to that. Maybe it's even just one and a barrier as well. Maybe we don't need to get fancy here. I actually like that better, yeah. Just build another board, stall them out a bit. So, yeah, I, I really want to play Mana Swarm this game. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried the opponent's going to die before I get a chance to do that because we're just ahead a lot on board. I'm hoping they got some cool stuff here to answer the board and I can feel like I can, you know, actually play the fun stuff. This deck's winning actually pretty well so far. I think I'm uh, five and three, so pretty solid, I would say. Oh my God, yes. Life gain, stabilization. That's exactly what we want to see. Oh, naturalize. I don't know if we like that though. Just chill, bro. Chill. That's less fun. I do like Artificer a lot though. Like Artificer Flame Strike's pretty sick. That's a heal 14 right now. <laughs> it's really nuts. <laughs> I just heal the casual 14. <laughs> that is very cool. So yeah, I hope, I hope, I hope I get to play a Mana Storm in this game. Keep, st yes. Yes, I'm so happy, dude. Yes, they should attack, I think, uh, one of these, right? <coughs> and then we'll try to get away with a... Well, shoot, I don't know. Star power is actually not that good. I'm, like, kind of nervous now. They have, like, a branching paths in the list. Because <coughs> I could take a ton of damage. I mean, I guess we have, you know, 19 armor and barriers up, so we're not, we're not at too much risk here. I would guess we're not too exposed, huh? yeah let's uh let's do it man let's let's get more life again we think we cryo prez the six six if it's still alive which very likely to be um as a right gym okay that's fine 
I don't need to infinitize right now. We're chilling. Next turn is Millhouse, man. As long as we're like, well, we're totally safe. We're 50 life. It's 100% Millhouse. And then it's Sunset Volley into Orb, right? I think. We have a five in the pool. We have a four in the pool. We have a three in the pool. We have a two in the pool. We have a seven in the pool. I don't think we have a six in the pool. They do have a branching paths, by the way. Holy crap. Thought we were able to deal with that board effectively. Just going for life gain here. They're worried about being dead, which kind of makes sense. Um, we're going to get reduced uh, artificial value if it survives. <gasps> Bro. Do I ever rip this first? Also, Sunsault Volley right now for the record is very good. This is like too greedy though, right? I, I don't think we can. I think we just, I think we just Millhouse. This seems too greedy. Oh, I should have actually, yeah, I actually will do this. Hold on. We want a 10 drop here. And then next turn it's Projection Orb, right? Oh. The Amplified Elec. Deal three to all. That's uh, it's pretty nasty. Good to protect the Millhouse body. So Orb has Volley, Flame Strike, Star Power. So any board is just deleted, right? Immediately. No question there. The board's just gone. Um, we can audio splitter technically here for, you know, some, some real greed. I could almost kill it off myself. But I don't think we need to. This does at least tend to the tend to face. What would be cool to get actually is maybe like the uh, fireball card. Oh, bro, choke all. Okay. Is it like a five cost spell here? Make it worth it. This goes up to two, so it's still still really cheap, right? I have to imagine this plus this is probably lethal, but. I don't know why, I just want to fiddle. Uh, okay. Oh, I got a finale, that guy. I always forget that. Yeah, let's just do this for now. I don't, I don't actually know. Uh, we're going to draw cards. That makes the miner better. Projection orb. Un, un, oh, yeah, coin. Oh, I forgot about water source. Okay, glad I didn't hit them. Freeze an enemy, that's good. And is actually gonna be too full. <gasps> We're getting the hawk as well. Oh my god. Star power, of course. That'll wipe that. Flame strike will wipe that. Sunset volley. And then we go blast mage miner. And then we hit face. Yeah, they're dead. Okay. Very nice. Oh, that's uh that's an okay to drop, I guess. Yeah. Okay, we got a cosmic keyboard early. That is literally all we need. I was realizing while building this deck, I am honestly not sure that I added more than one new card. <laughs> it might literally just be uh, Galactic Projection Orb, <coughs> if that's what it's called. Oh, opponent is playing the Heroic Whizbang deck. Okay, I think that's generally going to favor us, I think. That one's probably not one of the strongest ones. It doesn't do like cheesy stuff. Just kind of runs old cards, honestly. So hopefully it doesn't get off to a crazy fast start. <laughs> Shoot. I think star power will catch up. Ice barrier with the uh, keyboards, good tempo, recovery, get some three, three down. We got our some deck tracker loading up. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I have not honestly had this turned on in a while. Um. Yeah, this deck list is clearly not correct. It's it's really trying to figure it out. It's it's not it's not sorted sorted out just yet. So yeah, we love star power. Uh, this doesn't really have anything too useful. I mean, a frost bolt's okay, I guess, but not great. Deck tracker, you're running a secret mage list. Okay, <coughs> we'll try next game. See if this works. <coughs> I must oh I have cad guard too yeah okay so we have two new cards that makes this cooler I, I was worried I only had one new card and this was going to be the most boring new deck ever even though it's a cool mechanic and stuff with cheating big spells you know like, or not really cheating but well kind of cheating I guess 
either way, this works out just fine. So Gina's gift into Arcane and Alax doesn't seem worth it, right? Because you're just basically... Yeah, let's go ahead and ping this off so that star power is a little bit more impactful. Because you don't want like five hitting that divine shield accidentally. But I think star power should recover here. Then we got a Cadgar. Well, we still have Cosmic Keyboard up, so maybe we want to play something else before that. We'll see how it feels. Star power here, of course, guaranteed. Five, four, and three all clear, so this is good. Five, five is insane. I s it is so good. By the way, I still have this lingering cough. I'm so sorry. I have not been sick in two weeks, but this little, just tiniest, little tiny leftover cough just won't go away. I gotta go to the doctor, I think. I don't know why. Uh, it's just like a tickle. It's not even like, a, you know, there's no junk in there. It's just a little tiny tickle. A little tiny tickle. Oh, Harson Deck Tracker. Whoa, freaking out here. Uh, we actually have Excavate cards in the deck, believe it or not. <laughs> it doesn't look like it right now. Uh... I'm gonna lose some keyboard efficiency, but it's kind of okay. We want to play Cadgar. I think we just take a Frostbolt here and just sad that we only get a 1-1, but so be it. It's just how the turn's panning out, right? No need to get fancy with Cadgar. <coughs> Coming down, Flame Strike if needed. We got some cool options here. Uh, it's occurring to me that maybe this deck doesn't have enough card draw. Oh, hey, this is kind of working now. Nope. Still not, still not happy, is it? Kind of working though. <coughs> so, oh man, just a stone Drake, huh? Well, that is honestly kind of awkward for me. Oh, we got the DJ Mana Storm though. Uh, I mean, does Cadgar just sort this out? He can't really target it though, right? But he might. He might do like a Flame Strike or something. I don't know. Just get him going, I guess. Spare here. I'm, I'm chill with that, honestly. We don't have to kill this right now. We're definitely not uh, a pressure deck so much. We got Mana Storm in hand. So now we just need our big 10 drops. I think I have the four drop that draws a lot of cards. If not, I need to add it because I think right now we're a little bit light on card draw. We have some card generation. You know, I could have grabbed an Arcane and Elect too, for instance, but. Oh my god, Flame Strike is just insane here. Flame Strike can hit for a chill 10. Then the Wisdom Ball will either cast Mirror Image, Ice Barrier, or uh, Fireball, maybe? Since there won't be a board to clear, I think. It's not like deterministic, but I think it's like soft smart, right? Let's go ahead and get this going too. Kind of soft smart. Oh, that's, that's actually the best one you could have cast. Yeah, no, I need that. I need that. <coughs> so, Artificer here feels so good for a big spell deck like this. This is a game where it's definitely feeling like we're a control deck, which I kind of called this deck Big Spell Control, because, you know, you do have, of course, the, the Mana Storm end game craziness. It's kind of like a combo almost. But it's, it's a deck that's built to survive until that point with armor gain, removal, right? Stall with freeze cards. So yes, there is some kind of terminal nature there, but the end, but you know, the kind of goal along the way, I guess. Do we freeze face or freeze this? I guess we freeze this for now. Both would actually be best. You just kill that and freeze face to protect the uh, artificer maybe. Rush. Oh, an even better way to kill that potentially. It's three. Still not quite down to this. Four. Still not quite down to this. Uh, it's okay, I guess. Star power is cool, but I don't want to waste it, you know. I think barrier's chill and just hit for six. This is a good turn still. <coughs> Arcane Elect again. Oh, Frostbolt. Oh, bonus, man. Bonus freeze, if I'd known, we could have, uh, could have preserved our freeze. So this Cadgar felt pretty solid, by the way. I, I don't, I haven't hated this Cadgar. It's not too bad. Rag Light Lord healing up to 20. That's kind of crazy. So, I mean, uh, star power is good here. 
right no like lethal setups or anything still no infinitized math either this is crazy i just play infinitized because like who cares right i'm just i want to play like millhouse anyway we're just like pushing to the end game here oh volume up yeah okay that's actually great for us yeah i need to draw they're probably gonna kill the artificer because i'm up to 20 freeze again oh fireball let's go okay this Kagar's done nine to face, man. My first Kagar experience was pretty terrible. He felt awful, but because my opponent's taking this game slowly enough, Kagar does feel like he's kind of just grinding it out, you know? Feels much better. Mm, I might have attacked a minion first. <coughs> oh, never mind. It was. Never mind. It was a clear. I take that back. I'm stupid. Scratch that. I'm just a dum dum. That's all it is. Oh, dude, I didn't even realize they tank up. Oh my god. I didn't even see this. Am I stupid? I was not paying attention to Sir Finley here. I didn't even know they had so much life gain. I'm, I'm just dumb. Yeah, this is nice. Let's get some secrets. That's seven, so we can still play this on finale. This is great. Guys, totally fine, but not. Oh, not finale. Uh. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go all in, man. Four secrets. And a fireball. Dude, the cat guard knows where to go, man. He knows the place. You know what would be cool? This is probably too complex for a great card design, but it would actually be kind of cool that if, like, the wisdom ball were, like, upgraded when Cadgar was alive. So it's like, if Cadgar is alive, cast, you know five mana or more spells or some you know some kind of mechanic because we did have category alive for a few turns there but it's that's some complexity it's probably not worth much from a design standpoint but kind of a fun idea brand bro just going face are they do i have anything that like kills them off that summoning war some of your highest cost no 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 nothing like that there's no like mirrory stuff oh they're just out on board though they kind of had to trade i guess what are the new cards we got the big 10 drop spell we've got cadgar and <laughs> um they're of course showing as no currently in the collection manager but there's uh two more what am i running else oh the sleet skater i think uh the miniaturize freeze an enemy minion card i thought that was a pretty cool little stall for a control deck which we like freezes you know buy us time time buys us dj mana storm dj mana storm buys us sunset volleys and the galactic projection orb which you can't see currently but it'll be there soon hopefully i don't think i have an update quite yet for Northstone deck tracker <sighs> felipe extreme is thinking here on turn two Oh, classic line. Can't can't go wrong with that one. Cobalt Miner times two and the Reliquary Researcher is an awesome start because you don't always have a great cryopreservation. Like, it's okay to freeze face probably, but not a, <coughs> not a dream necessarily. Might want to save that for later a little bit, but Cobalt Miner into Trog <coughs> does look pretty good. Oh man, I got to shake this cough. I got to, I got to call, I got to get it. I got to call a doctor, dude. It's, uh... I haven't felt sick for two weeks, but the cough won't go away. It's just lingering. It's only when I like talk or breathe out really deep. There's just that. It feels like the, the last 2% of my lungs or something are like, oh, yep, here's a little cough for you. Have fun. Ooh, there it is. I knew we'd get it soon. See, I told you. Yeah, I don't think this is worth a freeze just yet. Like, yeah, it exposes our trog to the weapon, but we just don't care. That's totally fine. I, um... And more than happy for the opponents to be on the back foot right now, because we're really not a pressure deck, you know. We're just uh, trying to buy time. But if they're on the back foot, that's time. So now we just need Millhouse. I don't think there was a great way to tutor the Millhouse, by the way. Uh, I mean, there probably technically is with, like, Talon, although it's... I don't even know what's in standard anymore. Is Talon even in standard? He is. It just didn't feel totally right. felt kind of slow. There's stuff like this too, which can just draw minions, but of course we're running multiple minions, so didn't seem as worth it to me. Uh, so we're just gonna try to get to the middle house organically, or not at all, you know? Sometimes just playing big spells is fine too. 
In fact, the Millhouse is actually pretty risky. Only in certain matchups do I even think he's good. So building around him too much might be a mistake more than an advantage. So Canary is pretty much the best one of these we could get, I think. Uh, volume up finale wise is a little challenging, but bash plus what? Attack and attack. Okay, so no explosive runes activation. Ice barrier is active. It actually lets me play another one if I'd like to. We could maybe freeze the minion here. Still not my favorite play, but getting the excavate further along does have some value for sure. We could freeze and then coin into a volume up as well. Seven in hand, we'll go down to, oh, actually, excuse me, eight in hand. Oh man, this guy's nuts too, though. Uh, So we'll go down to seven in hand, draw four. Oh, no, no, we'd go down six in hand draw four but that's still actually kind of wrong yeah let's just do this for now it's fine this guy works out so well here it's okay kind of a waste of a freeze if you if you look at it closely but we're not going to complain still feels quite tidy so i mean i think we're worried about like odin stuff of course i mean maybe brand reno stuff hard to know exactly where they're going on the launch day of an expansion <coughs> I bet that's a shield block, right? I guess you could take a shield slam, but I think I'd rather just draw and keep moving. Nothing here is that scary. Yeah. So our projection orb, I mean, we do kind of need to be tracking it, I guess, but I'm not. Not closely, anyway. Uh, we've played a two-mana spell. The cryo preservation volume up could go in the mix which is kind of risky honestly but wow putting in work to kill this they're really really going hard at tidying up my board which i'm not really that interested in my board you know it's it's fine i guess to do that to me i, I don't know like this turn though this is a great turn so now we have a three and a four and a zero as well Sunset Volley would be great to weave in. We just take another one, man. We're like kind of on the offensive here. I, I don't know. Yeah, if we get a Millhouse and we're not immediately dead, this is pretty nuts. <coughs> Excuse me. I wish I could mute more easily, but I can't. I'm so sorry. Ignis. I didn't even remember them forging, to be honest, but I guess I zoned out a little bit. I was probably talking about uh, coughing or, or Milhouse and his beautiful beard. I don't know. I missed it. Whatever the case. So. Ooh, this gets me to the legendary uh, and a big hit here, too. We might just rip one of the Jaina's gifts. Um, just so we don't burn a card here. So we're gonna go back to 10, obviously, in the excavate. We got the big old uh, Azerite Hawk. Wow. Actually, had to trade in. Yeah, I'm just gonna burn this, right? The temporary card, whatever, it doesn't matter. We just don't wanna burn our top deck. It's totally worth it. That flexibility is fine. It is actually also in the pool, technically, for the orb, I guess, is a one cost spell. So next turn, I mean, it looks like Hawk, unless we just really have to clear a board. But we have some great tools for that. This is good, this is good, this is good, this is good. So. It's nice. Mana Storm currently feels like it would be safe to play. <coughs> the opponent is just so on the back foot. If they go for Odin here, I'm hitting for five. They're down to 11. The problem is, you know, armor gain is so scary. Oh, the safe pilot, wow. Am I playing freaking uh, Warcraft Rumble right now? No, thank God. <laughs> wow. So Ice Barrier has not been used here yet, but let's just see what our Titan is, right? Let's see how good it is. We love Titans. It's Agrimar. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually pretty chill with this. The uh, weapon is a lot of pressure right now and the opponent is already on the back foot. So let's go for... um. 
Let's go for... I kind of just want to go for 15 damage, man. We got Sunset Volley. Like, I know that getting bodies is nice, but I think we're just turning the corner, honestly. I think we're trying to end this game. Let's just go. Oh, what does Death Rattle deal to to all? I don't, we don't need to really do that yet. Let's just wait. We're at nine cards, so we got no hurry. This can turn into a fireball too, remember? So we have a lot of damage even next turn. <sighs> um. Okay, Reno's... Yeah, Reno's a heal. Reno's removal. It's not bad. <coughs> Volume up, huh? Well, I mean, I definitely don't really want to canary them. This turn's just gonna get real bad for me real fast. I guess we just fireball, don't we? Because I just don't really have any, any other way to empty the hand. I don't think Frostbolt's better in this case. I think we just push damage into a Sunset Volley next turn, right? Hope it's enough. If the first one's not, maybe the second one is, or maybe the orb is. Orb, though, currently drawing me cards, which it's funny. We The first time I played this deck, we had no cards in hand the whole time, I felt like. And now you hit one volume up and you feel like you have too many cards in hand. We also had a lot of excavates, too, to generate cards. So there were a handful of reasons. Suddenly we have a million cards. If we got a mana storm off the top here, I think I would maybe. Well, I guess it depends on if it's, you know, we're going to have lethal or not. But gain eight. Uh, so they're just dead, right? They're at 15. And we have five and 10. Yeah. Nice. Exact right math, dude. Let's go. So this is an interesting game because this one. Um, we definitely played more aggressively. This is, you know, we're a control deck, but we got out out ahead of them and just played it aggressively. Oh, bro, this is such a sick 10 drop to get because this was going to make another 6-7 to hit face. Uh, okay. Looking good, though. Coin uh, projection orb is cool. I thought about running, like, a coin generating card, dude, two drop guy to, like, cheat out Mana Storm early and all this stuff, but just didn't seem right. So, um, spell damage OTK Druid is not awesome for us. <clears throat> I think to say the least. Uh, I would say we can gain armor. You know, we have ice barriers. We have artificer. If we can find it and get it down early enough and it sticks or something. Like, there is definitely ways for us to range out of OTKs. But at the same time, uh, it sounds hard. We don't have any of that right now. Coin volume up worth it just to get a four drop down right now. Can still maybe play something next turn to barrier or whatever to get some bodies. Just keep them on the back foot a little bit. Uh, let's take barriers for now. I don't want to play this one if they're hand tracking. I want to play this one so they maybe keep attacking into it or whatever. Preservation. It's kind of good. This is a good card. Preservation trade. Or I guess preservation ping, maybe. Preservation treasure, maybe. I do want to get barriers down sooner rather than later, though. I'm just sad that this is going to eat four out of it if it wants. I mean, it might just trade, though, right? There's two minions on board, so we might just see some trades happen. I don't know. Hard to say on this one. Next turn, star power is looking pretty good, potentially. It's a big hit off the keyboard, anyway. Oh, the cluster. My god, dude. They have all the manas. So many manas. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. This doesn't feel good. I wish I could play a secret again. Is this worth it for a 1-1? One, one? I'm not sure. Hey! We were just talking about this guy. I don't have another 2-drop, though. Uh... I mean, sure. It's a solid board, right? We'll take it. We trade this? No. I like it better as a threat on board. 
I need to insert uh, hero power and face, man, or I need to find Artificer ASAP. Chia Drake. Oh, God, this is getting scary, dude. They just have so much stuff. I'm so scared. Did this, did this, 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 uh, this drew a spell. Doesn't, doesn't have spell damage indicators, so. Oh, wait, it does say spell damage. Hold up. That's. I don't actually. They only had one on the swipe, so this was that. So it didn't, it doesn't have spell damage. I guess it just says spell damage, uh, on the pop-up because the card says the word spell damage but i'm I, I guess there would be a little indicator for it if it were there that's kind of what i'm that's kind of what i'm thinking here do we go for star power to get a cosmic keyboard or do we just push the miner i think we just push the miner because uh reliquary gets active that way and this is on curve which is nice and it's just like they're kind of getting in danger territory a little bit, right? Like their life is getting low enough that they're probably a little nervous. They're thinking about it. Now we have Mana Storm, but this is one of those games where it's probably going to terminate prior to Mana Storm because we're going to just like either die or kill them first. Like we might just better off with like a volley than a Mana Storm, you know, just end basically. Um, still no attacks to face, so we really do need Artificer for life gain. B beautiful, beautiful. I, I don't play a Blizzard here though, right? That's too early. We need like counter spell here. Nice, okay. Yeah. I mean, I, it's maybe not crazy to rip the, the, the blizzard, honestly, because you get a 6-6, six, six, you get 6 armor, you, you know, you ideally you try to get more out of it because you want the blizzard to be, you know, valuable. If I didn't have a really good play with Researcher there, I think I would be more than happy to just throw away a blizzard because it doesn't feel like a card that's particularly important in this matchup either, so. And and I could probably talk myself into it anyway right now just to gain this six armor and kind of put them on the back foot. Oh God. Uh oh. Oh God. Plus three spell damage here. But actually plus six. So, I might just be dead with the... Yeah, dude, this is actually... Oh, oh, does that matter on the lethal count, I wonder? <gasps> is that enough? Funnel cake. Eight, and they have another eight, maybe? No oh, that swipe is very cheap. 10 to clear the board. Oh my God, bro. Bro, bro, bro. Did that counter spell save me? So you know this hits five, we have four and three. So we're fine on star power here to clear, which obviously we have to do that. So we're back to 11 and they kind of wasted their big guy. You know what I mean? They kind of wasted their big guy. Did that counter spell save my life? I don't think six with six damage off that blizzard artificer like we talked about have saved my life or did the counter spell save my life? I'm not sure which was more important, you know? Um, so now are they just gonna die? Uh, right? gonna copy a 5-5 but I can't attack yet uh, preservation I can actually freeze this so that they can't even get the tradable snake oil uh, doesn't mean I don't have a lot to do after this to be honest but oh never mind we have the hawk oh just kidding we have a insane play what am i saying this is insane oh my god the full heal dude let's go <laughs> that counter spell was insane dude i actually cannot believe how insane that is oh my god the full heal back to 35 aloni is gone that is so beautiful man how tilted would you be if you were the opponent and you saw this freaking uh you saw this AR back to full they probably thought they still had some some reach potential you know what i mean you are blessed we cooking indeed 
<laughs> oh god that's special that's a wonderful win didn't need dj millhouse didn't need galactic orb